The waves of death rose about me. The pains of the netherworld surrounded me. In my anguish, I called to the Lord, and from his holy temple, he heard my voice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome. Father Chris here celebrating Mass from the St. Mary Magdalene Chapel in Metairie, Louisiana. For those of you at home, if you please join me in the guardian angel prayer. Guardian angel at my side, go to the church for me. Kneel in my place at Holy Mass where I desire to be. At offertory in my stead, take all I am and own and place it as a sacrifice upon the altar throne. At Holy Consecration's bell, adore with seraph's love. My Jesus hidden in the host, come down from heaven above. When the priest communion takes, or bring my Lord to me, that his sweet heart may rest on mine, and I his temple be. Again, brothers and sisters, welcome. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy in us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time you, O Lord, showed me their doing. Yet I, like a trusting lamb, led to the slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name shall be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O oh Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me. Least I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O oh Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O oh Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the path the just. O oh searcher of heart and soul, O oh just God. O oh Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. In you, Lord, 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 my God, in you I take refuge. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart, and yield a, yield a harvest through perseverance. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven's glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to the Lord. Some in a crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees who asked them, Why did you, did you not bring him? 
The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered to them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd which does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, one of their members who had come to him earlier, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Hey guys, welcome back. You know, one of the interesting things about the internet I find is, 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 is the dichotomy, the twofold. Uh, the one is that you can find all kinds of cool stuff on it. I mean, quite honestly, if you're looking for something, information, if you're looking for a product, if you're looking to find somebody that maybe you've lost somewhere in your life, oh my goodness, there are so many different ways nowadays that you can find all of those things. Uh, and conversely, uh, you can get yourself into all kinds of trouble with the internet. Uh, and not only that, but the same source that you would use to find the truth on something is also the same source that will deceive you uh, based upon where you're looking for it. In other words, look up about Jesus Christ and you'll find out 10 million different things as to what people believe. So the problem that they already had in their time, in Jesus' time, is that there were people in his time that were like, who is this guy? You know, and they're even saying, well, you know, uh, with Bartholomew, can anything good come from, from Nazareth? You know, it's like, well, Jesus actually, yeah, he lived in Nazareth, but he actually was born in, in uh, Bethlehem. And so that's the prophecy is talked about in Bethlehem. Uh, none the least of, uh, of the tribes of Judah shall be born to you, you know, and it's like, okay. So basically that there is a great, great, the, the greatest of all prophets, Jesus Christ, coming to the world. And um, it's interesting also, there's, uh, if any of you have seen, and even if you haven't, I'll describe it very quickly, but there's a scene in The Chosen, uh, which has Nicodemus talking to Jesus, and then there's a later scene where Jesus is inviting him to come closer to him, uh, like, hey, leave, leave wherever your lifestyle is and come follow me. But the truth of the matter is that Nicodemus, you can tell, because he's a Pharisee, is well-to-do. He has, he has what is expected of him. He's got a lifestyle that he already has. And so for him, uh, in my imagination, it's very different. Not just my imagination, the way they set it up. You can see that he really is, he does it. He wants to go with Jesus. He longs to, to be closer to the source of wisdom, the source, the source of wisdom, who is God. He wants to be closer, but he just can't give up his lifestyle. He's also married, so there's something there too. Uh, he would definitely have to make sure his wife was okay with it, and she probably wouldn't have been given the conversations that she had earlier. So he knows all this stuff, but still, I think all I'm trying to get at is that to follow Jesus means there is, a, there is something of a nature of giving up. There's something of a nature of us having to choose for ourselves to follow him, because truly only when you start following him are you going to get the fullness of the truth that he has for you? In other words, you can read anything on the internet and say, well, maybe Jesus, maybe not Jesus, whatever. But there's something definitive. It's knowing the person of Jesus. Well, just like anything else on the internet, if there's somebody you know, like you want to look up a, an actor or an actress, hey, I want to find out more about this person. You can find out statistics about the person. Uh, you can find out a lot about the person. What is their life? Well, almost too much. They, they, we really, there's too much out there about an individual persons, okay? Uh, there, there should be personal stuff left personal, okay? But nonetheless, uh, the point though still is that there's a lot of information out there, but nonetheless, there is that certain instance of if you can know the person, not that you're going to meet any superstars or whatever, I might not either, uh, but at the same point, um, it's not who we meet or who we know, but what I'm saying is that it's knowing the person of Jesus as versus just hearing about him. And that is really where Nicodemus has his, his dilemma of, I, do, I want to know this person better, but I can't because I'm choosing not to. And so that's maybe the question today. You know, is there something about Jesus that we need to know? But that comes relationally, that comes through prayer, that comes through time, that comes through sacrifice, which is the other side. A lot of times Jesus does ask us for a sacrifice, and that's not easy, but any sacrifice, anything that is worth anything is worth sacrifice. Then especially with the case of Jesus, he's worth all the sacrifice we can give him. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide us for the rest of this Lent. Uh, may we, in a personal relationship with him, covenantal relationship with him, keep moving towards Jesus and keep inviting him into our hearts to keep confirming for us 
uh, that he is the Christ and now and confirming also that not only is he the Christ but that we should continue to follow him to the tune of giving up whatever it is to get closer to him uh, always. My brothers and sisters, let us now lift up our intentions to our Lord. <clears throat> for the intentions of Pope Francis, for everything our church is doing or isn't doing, what it should be doing to lead the people closer to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For today's Mass intention for Saturday, March 20th, for Anthony Santani, for everybody in his family that is missing him, uh, and our community that's missing him also, for all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the next group of people in the prayer intention hotline for Mark Johnson, Ann Ott, Keith Gorgeous, Rob Cambius, Joellen and Ed Chapin, Joan Ruiz, Camilla, for all their families and everybody else missing them and everybody else in the prayer intention hotline, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For seekers and searchers, for all who long for a word of wisdom from the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the sick and the dying, and for all who hunger for a healing word, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And what else should we pray for? For the forgiveness of those who pray to us that have nobody to speak with them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For special intentions and in thanksgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of surprises, you reveal your wisdom in unlikely places and confound our expectations. Release us from stubbornness and make us ready to receive your word that your Christ may find the hearing and his life may dwell in us for he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray. Direct our hearts aright, for without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sin. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands, and even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory be yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Peace, 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 peace. 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 Lamb of God, God take, take away the sins sin of the world, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
those at home, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen indeed. By the precious blood of Christ, the blood of a spotless and unblemished lamb, we have been redeemed. Let us pray. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Amen. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Amen. Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael, the Archangel, Archangel defend us from battle. battle. Be yeah, our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits of for all throughout the world, seeking for the souls. Amen. God bless you all. Have a great day, a great weekend, a great next week, and beyond. God bless you, and keep uh, your Lenten promises going. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Bye, guys.